you. God bless you. We, we learned a lot. That respect topic, it's so deep. I was talking to the ladies in church one time, and no, it was the men and the ladies. So I said, respect is so complicated in a way that respect for him is me kneeling down when I serve him food. Respect for your husband is you allowing him to spank your bum, even in front of people. Respect for this one is her waking up in the morning for cleaning, ironing. So it is a very complicated subject. And it makes wives to feel like they are oppressed. It makes wives to feel like, what am I doing here? Because I think husbands, I'm sorry to say it, but some husbands, they don't have that grace to be patient with their wives and teach us how they want us to respect them. And it is my prayer tonight that every husband will receive that grace to understand that we are not born knowing that we must respect you. We can only know how to respect you when you teach us how you want us to respect you. I'm not talking about my husband. He actually teaches me how he wants me I'm to respect I'm already feeling him. very bad. <laughs> I'm talking based on a pastor's wife hearing from couples. He teaches me all the time. He, I, I know how he wants me to respect him, but it's still, I'm crawling. I'm going there. And he's very patient. If you were not patient, we wouldn't be here. So I just want to encourage the husbands who are here that let's be patient with our wives. And let's teach our wives how you want respect you might see me respecting my husband in a certain way and then you go home and say did you see how mama respects and then you're now putting pressure on your own wife not knowing what he went through with me for me to get to that point of him receiving that respect i remember one time when we just got married and I was coming back from work. It was a Wednesday. So he was, like I was entering the door. He said, B, quickly, quickly, we're going to church. Just put your bags, we're going. I said, no. I went to my own work. You go to your own work. Imagine when you have married someone and you have told them that I'm a pastor. This is what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden she comes and tells you, I've done my work. You go and do your work. Then why are you here? Why are you in my house? Are you not supposed to come and help me? And it's like from that day, I knew that I'm here to help him. Because it was, it shook our marriage and we were just new. But I didn't know. I thought I was doing a very good job. Because I'm going to work. I'm a lawyer. I went to do my cases. So I'm coming back. You should understand that it's a Wednesday. I can't follow you to church. You go. When you come back, I will be resting. But from that moment, I realized that me being a lawyer does not matter in this marriage. I came to the marriage to be a helper to him. If it means I must stop being a lawyer and achieving or fulfilling his purpose, I will do it. Because he married me to be his helper. You are speaking. You are speaking. I'm not here to talk about that. I was just trying to say, if you are here, you are a wife and you were feeling so discouraged, don't be discouraged. Just fight on. We are all, it's a journey. Even people who are married for 40 years, their husbands are still complaining, she doesn't respect me. I was talking to my brother recently. I said, respect is like when you go to church, and they call um, an altar call. And you know that there's this scene that you are dealing with. And then the, the pastor has preached so much that you just want to repent. You go in front, you are crying, say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I'm not going to do this sin ever again. You are crying. And you know that, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do this sin. As soon as you walk out of the church door, that sin holds you back. It's like respect. 
when they are telling you that I don't like the way you did this I don't feel respected when you do this this is how I want you to respect me you will be there feeling so bad I'm a cry baby I even cry and then I'll be asking myself I'll even say I don't know if I'm a bad person or what and then you'll be feeling so bad that I really want to be a good wife to him I really want to respect him and I'll promise him baby I'll do better tomorrow something happens we are back to square zero empty promises <laughs> so please be, be, be patient marriage is a journey let me go to my topic we are here to talk about something that I think I'm sorry but I think it's a problem for South Africans when I was planning to get married I knew that I was getting married to be a favor to my husband. That one, it was here. I knew that the Bible says, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing. And he obtains favor from the Lord. I was so prepared to be that favor to my husband. And I believe I have done that so well. Yes. The only thing that I missed in that scripture was that he finds. So I didn't know that he found me. What am I saying? Him finding me, it means I was leaving my family. I was coming to cleave to my husband. I was only prepared to be his favor, but I still had my family that whenever it's December, I pack my bags, I go and see my mom and my dad and be with my siblings. I'm from a very beautiful home. You can see how jolly my brother is. When we are together, it's so lovely. We are laughing, we are singing. So I was like, no, you're marrying me. When we are married, December, we go home and enjoy my family. Anyway, you are from Nigeria. Your family is not here. So my family becomes your family yeah. I forgot that I'm actually leaving to cleave my mom and my dad they left and they came together they cleaved to create their own family I have to leave and cleave and create my own family yeah. a lot of wives we oppress our husbands because you want to go home if you ask your husband can i go home and he says no you want him to write an essay to explain why can't you go home are they not your family anymore doesn't he have his family forgetting that he found you it is a serious issue in south africa south african wives we even take our own children and give our own mothers so we can take money to give our mothers because our mothers are buying pampers while we know they're not even buying pampers they are even uh, using those old napkins for or, on our children but because you want that opportunity to be going home when you are home who is taking care of your husband when you are home who is cooking for your husband Kai. when you are home who is satisfying your husband sexually uh. i think that table is wrong that table is wrong i'm very born again i think they have uh... <laughs> they have imparted grace no sex grace We are having a lot of marriage problems. Wives are complaining. My husband is no longer coming back home. My husband has another baby outside. How, how did he even make that baby? I'm not taking for granted the fact that some husbands, they are just not controllable. But as wives, you have a responsibility to check your doors whether there is one door that is open that is a loophole to your marriage that is now bringing the enemy to come and destroy your own marriage woman of god 